Okay, my friends, another one of these absolutely crazy days. You know that I say everything there is is in biology. As, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't found one single thing anywhere, and I mean anywhere, that's not biology. So, I'm thinking to myself, and I do, do know where the best places to grow things are. Is in poop, and in blood, and in feathers. Those are the three places that grow absolutely fabulously green vegetation. So, I'm thinking to myself, the promised land was where everything's supposed to grow good, so what was that? And I said, well, the Tigris and Euphrates River. That usually makes what is known as a cloaca, because that's the two, the feces and the urinary tract added together dumps together, makes into a cloaca in all reptiles and avian creatures, birds. Not in us. We have a regular anus and a penis or a vagina, but not both built in together. So, this is the promised land. When I tell you what happened, you're just going to freak out. Because <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'll tell you, this is just, it, it's way beyond too muchness now. So here we are, the Tigris and the Euphrates River, and they they collect right up in here. All right. So right, what is the cloaca? I'm going to draw it on a on a on a screen. Hold on. All right. So I'm saying, I'm telling you right now, that is what I'm going to say is a cloaca right there, and all the poop runs out of there, and it's the land between the Tigris and Euphrates River. This here, you see the abrupt transition between this green and this here? When I show you what this is, it's going to freak you right off. And when I tell you the circumstances that led me to look at this, this is going to freak you out even more. All right, so don't forget, this is what I'm saying is the avian pooper. It poops right out of there, and everything adds together. You know how you see black and you see white and everything when you see bird poop? That's what comes, because it all comes together through what's called a cloaca. Now, let's go a little further with this. Now, here we are in the middle of the desert, and as I told you, they live in blood, and poop, and feathers. Well, what do we have right here? There's a whole bunch of people living right here. It's very green. Look at how green it is. Why is everything so green right in here? All right. Now, I can tell you why. This is, again, another cloaca. And this is where the two things come together. Now, I'm not an expert at dragon cloacas, but I believe this is right here. Let's get a little closer and make it a little more obvious. This tube right running down here is where all the poop comes down. And it feeds in. That's the cloaca right in this area here. Now, and so there might be some other feeding from here, but there's going to be two sets of, you know, like the dark and then the lighter colored stuff coming together, and that's how they poop. Now, it's all running down into this valley here and collecting here, and then it runs right out here. Now, there's another spot right here. I'm not sure what's going on with that one, but this one here, I believe, is the cloaca. You see how they're living right down in here? There's love of this because it's, it's very, very fertile. And you see how all of these rows of tissue, this is like layers of tissue, I'm, I'm almost absolutely certain. And that pinched off. That's how, you know, I mean, that's how the opening worked. And, of course, it all spewed out here. Now, this, I believe, is those same glands. You see it? The abrupt transition. You see the abrupt transition right on the very edge? That usually simply, and something's feeding it in here. Now, where is this? It's the cloaca of what? Of the giant dragon that's in the desert. Now, here it is right here. All right, right where the cursor is. There's his head right here. Here's his legs. I mean, that's exactly where it should be, and it is where it should be. So that's his cloaca, or its cloaca. I don't know his, her. It appears to be a his, but they're kind of hard to sex. 
when they have cloacas. Now, this is uh, this is the dragon in the desert. This is that giant dragon. This is his head. So now, uh, oh yeah, and I was going to show you also. I told you blood makes things grow extremely green, and he had his throat cut right here. You see this? He bled out in the desert. All this is blood that's run out from his gashed throat. Well, is there anything growing there? Well, guess what? Yes, there is. And it is green as green gets. Right where his throat was gashed. Because it's cut and the blood is running out of his throat. You see that? Well, what's this doing? This green stuff doing in the middle of the desert. People living here having a good time where you wouldn't expect to be finding anybody. I, mean, I don't see anybody else living here in the middle of nowhere. The only way you can do this is because blood comes out and, and um, feces, and, and it, it appears to... F I don't know whether the earth is still in some form of living, or this is just remnants of this thing you know, evacuating things that are inside of itself. These are just creatures just gigantic. It's all across the whole top of North Africa. This is where his t pooper is. His tail runs all the way to here. This is, I think, 1,100 more than that, I forget. And then, of course, you got the gigantic fish. This is, this is a whole other world than we thought. And over here, you got another cloaca. And this one here is the one that has the infected... gland. That's a scent gland. And look at how nasty that is. It, how infected looking that is. You see how bad looking that is? Compared to the other one who is not infected whatsoever. Look at how nice that one is. Totally different. And they both feed in, but this one has lumps clogged in a way. This is what happened to my dog. Exact same thing. Identical. And then he had to go up in here and get a, push all that stuff out and make it clear and then that could drain. This is all backed up and clogged up. This one is not. Now listen to this. Cloacal scent glands, which was that green thing I was showing you, or anal glands, same thing, appear to be present in all snakes. These glands which open into the, the what they call the... Uh, Cordorsal portion of the cloaca secrete a thick opaque fluid which is normally odoriferous to attract a mate. Okay, here it is right here. You see that? That is the anal gland of a bird. Alright, that's the gland. And then the cloaca spits out there. And that's what I was showing you before. This is some um, some biology here. Whoops that's in that area. It's very, very complex, but the best shot I could find of it is this one right here, right there. All right, remember this, like, look to it. All right, so don't forget, here we've got the cradle of civilization living in which a very fertile area. It, it, it is. There's just no question about it. Look at how fertile that area is. Now, this is what I consider to be the cloacal area, and that is the area that really is the poop area. These are the scent gland areas. This one is, remember I showed you, now let me wipe that off because this is just drawn on the screen, and it will get in the way of everything. Now, don't forget, these green are the anal glands. And look at this, this is exactly the same sort of architecture we saw in the bird anal glands. Now this one is, like I said, I think this thing's infected. I think this thing, whole, whole thing here is very infected. You see this? That's not good, as far as I'm concerned. And it's plugged up. It should come right through here and just come straight down, no problems. Well, that's plugged up. And that's why it's, it's so nasty here. This one here is perfect. See how nice this is down here? You don't see all that red inflamed, any of that stuff? 
It's perfect. It's, it's, it's a gland. It's obviously a gland of some sort, which I'm saying is the avian anal gland. If you could see anything different, I'd like to know how you can see it, because that's what I'm seeing right there. Okay, this is a little jarring. NASA shows what's inside Jupiter's great red spot. This is the great red spot. Well, guess what? It's turning oval, from oval to circular. This great red spot gave birth to what is now Venus. All detailed by Velikovsky. He did. He went back and researched all the ancient records. They said a fiery comet was born from the feared god Jupiter. That's what was written in these texts. Not just one, everywhere. Same dates, same occurrence, catastrophe on Earth followed. Seven days, that planet, which was actually a comet at this time, it was just glowing like the sun, they said, approached Earth as it did, the, the heat from it coming at us just roasted the Earth. And everybody jumped in the water to try to save themselves, and they boiled, literally boiled. And that's what created all my mud fossils. They were literally parboiled. Now, this is called Secrets, The Secrets of the Universe. And this is going from oval to circular. I think Jupiter is about to give birth again. And I'm, I, I said I would go through this in great detail because they do have a lot of details on it. And nobody knows what to make of it, but I think I do. Okay. If you have an anatomy book and you want to look it up and look up details of what a human reproductive system looks like, specifically a vagina, that is it. That is the great red spot. Now, it's oval like this. Well, it's turning around. Well, what happens when it turns around? A baby's going to be born. They don't have any clue about this. It's been happening for a few years now. This happened 3,500 years ago and recorded everywhere. So you can do a little research on your own. But look it up. Velikovsky has great details on this. And this, when it did, it caused red blood to fall over, all over the earth. Of course, they had the tides when you know, the oceans just overwhelmed everything because it almost impacted Earth. This whole planet, the same size as our planet, same size, almost hit us. So all the waters and everything went crazy. But along with it came the afterbirth, which is blood. And he said hydrocarbons fell all over the Earth. That's nothing more than cooked blood. In addition to that, there was... Um, stones fell all over earth it just tons of stones that would be the umbilical cord it's very very fibrous and hard and cellular and then manna fell all over the earth which was this flaky little cookies like bread looking stuff uh, and which is what the baby eats out of the um, placenta all of that would come with it, the afterbirth of the planet and it spun backwards, which is exactly what you'd expect being ejected from a spinner going this way. It would have to spin backwards. It wouldn't spin along with this one. It would roll out of it that way. And that's what exactly what Venus does. This is, you know, if you have any ability to understand what female anatomy is, that is it. It is identical. Absolutely no difference. Even down to the hairs. You see these? You see down here? And even down to this attachment. You see that? That little attachment is a strap that attaches body parts to other body parts. I'm not kidding you. I have found this in my mud fossils. It is that strap. And they're in all my mud fossils. Every one of them has that between heavy-duty areas attached to another area. I call it the spurlock. <laughs> Now, this right here, I mean, this is, I'm telling you, it looks just like hairs. This is exactly what you would expect to see on the edge. You see that? Look at them. Boom, 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 boom. And that's exactly what the anatomy is. And this is all of the clitoris, 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 or whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. I believe they call that the vulva. And then this is the vaginal canal. 
so if it's turning around, I, I'd say that would be something you want to maybe take a little interest in. But maybe not. Ignorance is bliss. So remember I told you they have these little latches? That, that's a latch that held this lung in position. This has been DNA tested and certified and CAT scanned and everything else. 100% certain it's a lung. And this lung is from a human being. And that side is flat as a pancake. And that was all because of the great flood that was created by the ejection of, of Venus from Jupiter. And it boiled the waters and parboiled and boiled off the flesh, creating mud and leaving body parts. Here's another one. This is the um, this is another lung. That's that latch right there. Very obvious in this one. Now look at here. Here it is right here. It's very obvious in this one too. There it is. It's the same body part right there. Right, and they, they latch the buttocks into this area of the, of the body so it can sort of move around a lot and uh, still come back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to leave two things about this. First of all, when I said the same body part, I was obviously referring to this flap, this, the, the latch, not the long. This is obviously a long and that is obviously not a long. Now, secondly, I mean no disrespect to anyone. I know this gets deep into people's religious beliefs and, you know, this is mythology versus, you know, traditional religion. There's a lot of things to think about here. I'm not saying there isn't, but I am just a messenger. I am not saying think this way or think that way or do this or do that. I am a material scientist. That means I look at material and I report on it, that's all. That's up to you to make your decisions. I, I, I'm obviously making decisions. I'm, I'd be stupid to say I'm not. Obviously I am. But I, and I, I don't taint my decisions or, or my research by my decisions. My decisions are made as a result of my research, not to support my research is not in there to support my decisions. My decisions are a result of what I see and what I think and what I read and what the ancient texts say and what Velikovsky and all the rest of them dug into the actual did the work. Right now, as far as academia goes, there's, there's no work being done. It's all you say what the old, old guys said or, or get out of town. Stay on the page or get off the stage. That's the problem right now. I am not saying do this, do that, this religion's right, that religion's wrong, this God's good, this God's bad. I'm, I'm just saying this is the way it looks like to me. This was written, here's what I see. Don't hold it against me. <laughs>